Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you are in a great time installing and learning Creator on your devices. If you ran into any difficulties, kindly send me a message or leave a comment and I will follow up and help you through. Uh, for this video, we are going to learn how to use vector tools and to create vector designs. Uh, to do that, first we have to create a new file. We can either use the shortcut Ctrl N or just click on new file. Uh, once you click on your file, you'll be required to set the document size. Uh, for me, I'll just go with the custom document, which has a width of 3508, a height of 2480, resolution of 300 or in pixels. You can either select landscape or portrait mode. Uh, for this video, let's use the landscape mode and then click on create. Now here we have our workspace, here is where we are going to be working, drawing our designs, uh, manipulate them, changing the color, etc, etc. So when you open this workspace, Krita asks for your paint tray automatically. Uh, and because on, for this video we will not be using the paint tray, I will just go ahead and edit it. And add a vector layer. To add a vector layer, there is a drop down beside the plus sign click on it and click on and vector layer perfect now we have a vector layer above the background and we can draw any vector shape we want we will start with the test tool uh, all the tests you do here will be in vector form and you can change their color their stroke and their shape so let's start by it you just make a uh, a, a, a box where you will add your test and now you can light your test let me say golden golden studio golden studio l l l l or just golden studio like that then save and cross oh no so i have to increase the font sorry just give me a minute uh, so we have to increase the font to something bigger let me say 72 uh, for the font i can change the font size i can go with algerian it's more fancy and there we go we can use italic to make it more fancy and then click on save and cross there we go, we have our test, we can move it a little down, perfect, that's our test, okay, so we move to the next tool, which is the rectangle tool, so let's draw a rectangle here, select it, uh, left click your mouse, and hold, then drag, and we have a rectangle, uh, the next tool is the eclipse tool this helps you draw a circle so just do the same thing select it uh, left click hold and drag and you have your circle perfect okay the polygon tool we will use this one uh, to draw uh, a triangle so just make a node so you just click uh, at a certain place then drag click again once you are satisfied, then click again. Once you are satisfied, and then join. That's a, a triangle drawn with the polygon tool. We have the Bezier tool. This one is more dynamic. Once you draw parts with the Bezier tool, you can manipulate them in very many ways. You see how that works. So let's first draw um, a shape with the Bezier tool. It works the same as the polygon tool. You make a, you click to make a point then drag click again to make a point click again to make a point click again to make a point maybe i'll make it more fancy here and like that uh, so now we have used the bezier tool we come to change the shapes for this uh, items later so we have the freehand uh, tool this one helps you draw something in the freehand you can draw anything but on this tutorial for simplicity i'll just draw a simple tick so you just left click hold and drag until you are satisfied with the shape you are drawing perfect uh, no, so now all these shapes can be changed uh, we can change this we can change 
the font to anything we want we can change the color we can change the stroke for instance on this rectangle the, the stroke is land but we can change this to a different color for the fill the fill is the part which looks white but uh, in reality it, it's empty because there is nothing in it for instance sorry uh, if I click on the move tool and move this give me a sec if I select the rectangle then move it you see the fill is empty nothing that's why you you can see the test so because it's empty but we can change that to a different color to do that uh, on the left side on the right side click on tool options there is a, a broken rectangle that is a geometry you where you can change where this uh, object appears on y and x axis and also you can change the size uh, this uh, on this tutorial we are using pixels so if you change the size for this for instance if i decide to change size of one side and maybe use maybe that's 31 maybe if i add seven it becomes bigger if i add seven it's more bigger so but i want it to remain the way it was so let's keep it that way okay so and we can also change the field the field is the slant line just beside the geometry click on it then here we have either you can remove the field then square with a cross that's removing the field or we can and uh, no removing the stroke but on this case we cannot remove the stroke so to, to do this we can add a field or a, a stroke of different color solid or the gradient let's start with something solid so just select it select, select the rectangle uh, you can see the stroke the stroke is rained so once you click on you select the, the design then go to stroke you'll be able to change the color for instance i want to change this to something like orange this is the orange or yellow i have a problem with colors that's orange now okay so then you can either change it to a to a gradient if you want for instance that's a gradient i can change the color to this several color right now it's black and white i can change it to something pink pink first okay then okay then i choose another color for instance that one more dark okay another color you know I like blue so now if i move this color you can see it moving around the stroke like that that's the good thing with the stroke but for now let's just use a a, a, a solid color uh, we can change the the fill the fill i send is the inner white part and to change this there is a bucket and uh, just uh, beside the stroke saber so just click on it and choose the color you want you can choose a solid color or you can use a gradient or a mesh gradient so just click on solid color which right now is right bro i want to make it land okay so right now you can see i cannot see the items below the rectangle because they are covered by the fill i can do this for every item which i have here i can also change the golden studio color for instance i can first change that something like that then that's the fill then the stroke i can change it to something orange now you can see my stroke my test stroke so perfect so i think i like this i like the way krita makes this perfect just look how oh, that's good it looks so now we can also do that for a circle change that then change the fill to send card and change the fill to something like gradient uh, this time i'll use a gradient okay i'll use that i'll just select a color like that no, sorry what happened okay select this again 
like that. How do you think about that? I really like it. One thing about the fill color, it gives uh, your designs uh, a more appealing look. Now we can do the that for the rectangle for the triangle too. Let's say fill, then change the stroke to, to something more visible like that. Okay, now remember we drew this using the Bezier tool, and now this has more nodes. And these nodes can be manipulated once we double click on it, like that. Now, these nodes help you to manipulate these lines the way you want. That's why Bezier tool is very important when you are creating more dynamic shapes and more like. If mostly if you are if you want to get an anime and you want more cups, you should use a Bezier tool because this one now I can create something like an island like that, and I can change the feel just the same way I changed the feel of the other designs. So just select the item, exit the edit mode, then select, then change the f the stroke to something. Like water, that's too much, bro. Okay, that works. Then here we can um, make a dark, bro. No, sorry. Then, then change the fill to something dark, bro. That's yellow, like that. Now you can see we have our lake, our highland on a lake, our dark island. So that's is it. Oh, I forgot one tool, which is the line tool. This one helps you create a straight line. So I can just, maybe I want to create a line here. Perfect. That's my line tool. And I can change this line to any color I want. Actually, you cannot change the fill for this one, but you can change the stroke. So I'll go ahead and change the stroke. I'll just select it. Select. Remember to select. If you don't select, you don't get this. Uh, you you get the tool option. So I want to make it which color do you want? Uh, it's just black. Uh, it remains the same. We cannot see it. Maybe we can maybe we can use land something like that. Uh, so I think we are done with the vector tools. Uh, that is it for now. We will go into more details with this. So for now, for your homework, try to create your own designs and try to make them more. Thank <laughs> you.